Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 126. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. This <laughs> is the first episode of one of, damn, what is this? 2024. Happy New Year. Um, this is the first episode. <laughs> we'll start off the year with a bang. Reintroduce yourself to the audience. Hey, what's going on, y'all? I am Cy, aka Solidify Cy. Uh, you can get at me at at get underscore solidified. That be it. That be all. I'm VST alumni. And, you know, how to hustle podcast with hype alumni as well. What's going on, y'all? Copy that. This is my brother. If y'all been listening to him then before sure. he's been here, he, he flew something out there on that previous episode. And I told him, stop, chill, wait. That is a whole episode. <laughs> Here's the episode. Lazy relationships. Sorry. Mm. So we were talking about this on the episode. This was the most underrated episode. Uh, still available on all streaming platforms. We only accept five stars here on the Auto Podcast. Right? Um, you brought <laughs> up lazy relationships as being underrated. Let's dive into that now. Um, well, initially my thing was um, I thought it was underrated to just be lazy, not doing anything, which is significant other. You know what I mean? In the sense of just chilling, not doing nothing, saying, you know, forget the world is just me and you. That's what initially I, you know, I meant by that. But you brought a whole nother light to it. So we definitely about to get into that too. All right. See, when I'm hearing lazy relationships, I'm thinking that's that's complacent relationships. Right. That you taking this individual for granted, whether it be husband, wife, friendships, however you want to use this relationship uh topic for yourself. Um <clears throat> But if you're being lazy and like you're not putting any work in, you're not doing anything to keep this person engaged. If it's a physical one on one relationship, you just take it for granted that they're going to be there and they're always going to be there. That's not always the case. We might have got together at 23 and been perfect for each other. You was just what I needed. I was just what you needed. But now we're 43 and I need something different. Uh, in these last 20 years, you should have grew and evolved. And if y'all ain't growing and evolving together because y'all are not both recognizing that he's now becoming a different person because he's a father. She's becoming a different person because she's a mother. She's becoming a different person because she's a wife. Uh, You got your health complications because you never know. Like things just hurt. When you get a certain age, you wake up like, why is my elbow on tilt? (laughs) But if you don't have the kind of person who's checking in with, him saying all of those type of things like, all right, I noticed that you said three weeks ago that your elbow hurt. Now you're still saying that we need to go see the doctor about all of that. But if the person is not attentive enough and being in a lazy situation, they won't catch up. They won't pick up on those type of things. Right. Um, a lot of times I feel like, and I'm speaking for myself, I've actually had uh, a situation with them on marriage, if I could be, you know, uh, fully disclosed for a second. Um, this where, is a safe space. Absolutely. Um, where it was like, okay, over time, it's like, you know, once y'all get together, you know, that union is formed. And once that union is formed, oh, let me put out there, I have been married for 10 years, going on 11, and I'm going to be left for that. I've been married for seven. We're going on eight this year. Hey, baby. <laughs> uh, but yeah, back in the hand, I'm pretty much just like, huh? No, you're I good. Hear, I'm sorry. No, I, I said oh, I'm, yeah. I'm seven years going on eight. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be glad, man. It's, it's a blessing. <laughs> a lot of people don't have that. And, and alone, mm-hmm. like, just as a union alone, a lot of people want that. A lot of people desire that. And they have that yearning for that. Whereas, though, it might not, you know, your order, your steps might not be ordered. Whereas, though, that's in line for you right now. Maybe, you know, your husband or wife is coming down the line later on or whatever. Or maybe you got to get yourself up together first in order to run into that person. That's yeah, a whole other thing. You gotta um, be prepared for that moment. You gotta rec- you gotta be absolutely ready to be absolutely. everything for this person. Everybody's not there. Everybody doesn't get there. Right. Um, I was just harkening back um on that topic, whereas though I remember at one point in time, even in my own marriage, where it was just like she's used to seeing me as this go-getter, and I'm always like, you know what I mean? I'm not stopping here, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing that, I'm just doing everything, not only just for the family, but for us alone as well. You know what I mean? But Ultimately, it starts with me. 
Now, the issue came in where at one point in time, you look up and then it's like this one person, and I'll, I'll say this word loosely, where it's like you look at your hero and it's like your hero is not heroing, so to speak. And then you look and it's like, all right. And then, you know, it gets brought to your attention where it's like, look, you know you what I mean? did it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish hey. you did it again. The hero situation. This is a future topic. Put a pen hey, in Hey, man, but look, we're just going to keep it rolling. We got another one coming. Now they got something to look forward to, right? Copy that. Podcast you look at it and, <laughs> and you look at it like, okay, well, this person where you heralded or revered in a high regard, we you're looking at it and it's like, you're used to them just being snappy. I'm on this, I'm on this, I'm on this, I'm on this, just to make sure we're cool. After a while, you're looking, it's like, you're being stagnated, you're being complacent. And of course, that happens sometimes. I won't say it's solely on the one person. Uh, being in the union, I would say that uh, both parties might play a part in that, whether it be, you know, marriage or just boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Um, but along with that, it's like after a while you look up and you're like, yo, what's what's going on, fam? Like, I'm I'm used to you, you know I mean, moving around and doing this, 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 and this. And now you're just chilling at this. Like, what's going on with you? So it was brought to my attention. And I remember, like, how I felt. I, I felt like complete crap, bro, where it's just like, damn, I thought I was doing this, this, and this, and this. But it's like, in all reality... Sometimes in life, and I know for myself, like I get stuck in my own head every once in a while, where it's just like, all right, I got stuck in my head. And then you look up and it's like, damn, you, of course, you feel away because it's like, this is my significant other telling me, like, my homie, lover, friend looking at me, telling me, like, damn, you fell off. Like, what's going on? Like, there's no fire under your feet no more. <laughs> what's going on? What's happening? And right, you look so at that. And then, after, mm -hmm, come on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish, finish oh, your so, all right, so with that, um, you know, you look up and then time goes and there's no fire under your feet, which then um, there's a domino effect further down the line where you look at it and, like, other things might have stopped or slowed up. And it's like, bam, you weren't the same person you was. I'm used to you doing this, this, and this, and this. But it's like things change. What's going on with you? You know what I mean? And, of course, like I said, I felt like crap. And I looked up and I'm like, oh, man, where do I turn? Things like that. But then after a while, you got to dig into yourself. And I can't say she was right. A lot of times, women out there, if you're listening or watching, you were right. <laughs> a lot of times, y'all be right. A lot of men don't want to say that, but sometimes, you know, more than likely, y'all be right. So I looked up, um, to make a long story less long, I looked up and I'm like, yeah, the fire wasn't under my feet. And then it's like, we're not just here, here just to stay in one place. One thing specifically about life, you have to always change and evolve, but specifically with the times. You got to do that. You got to keep moving. You got to keep Bullseye. that spark there. Mm -hmm. Right. You just got to keep that you hit exactly there. where I'm going. Um, so this is the thing that I always try to do. Right. Because my wife told me, uh, my wife told me this before. Um, it was like, you here, but you ain't here. Because you always on the phone. You always doing something. Like, yeah, you got a thousand right. different things that you're doing, you know, to try to like better our situation, but you still got to be here when you're here. And right. Like you said, you got to take heed to sometime when you hear things. I always tell her, you don't understand how much weight that it holds that you being my wife. You tell me you need me, the world stops. Um, right. It's two, It's a couple of people who got pictures in my phone. If I see this picture in the phone, and that means I don't care what it is, I'm answering it. I might tell you I can't talk right now. I might be busy or whatever, but, you know, a couple of these people go and get the answer to those calls. Right. And you got to always step back and reevaluate your situation. Look at it and see, what are we doing? What am I doing? Because if the thing that you keep harking on there is I'm used to you doing this. And this is the thing that we can't get stuck until I'm used to you doing this because then I'm not allowing you to grow and evolve. Your priorities might have been I need to go hard at whatever the business might be for whoever's listening. And now my priorities have just shifted. Instead of me trying to go so hard with the business, I really need to go hard at being a dad. I really need to spend right. more time instead of I mean, it's really need to spend more time with the kids instead of spending more time trying to make money for the kids because the kids don't really care about the money. The kids care right. about the time. They remember they the time. Know, they know, than that. Right. Yeah. When they're little, I'm not saying you got a teenager exactly. that care about the money, but the kids will remember the time that y'all rolled around on the floor and you don't have a clue. My daughter mm -hmm. tells me about stuff all the time. You don't remember when we did this thing? And we're like, not really. <laughs> like, <laughs> it might hold a special place to you because right. you have the experience of being a parent and a child so you remember when it was a child and you just wanted the attention of your mom or your dad or whoever that was that you sure. didn't get 
you remember those times that you got it, but you also remember those times that you didn't get it. And now you're in that situation. Now you're the one who's not giving the time, not giving the attention. So, excuse me, you always got to be like reevaluating your situation and just big picture looking at it like, all right, let me step back and look at this from a different perspective and not just what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling. Let me look at it from the perspective of what is this doing for us? Because right. once you get there, you got to understand that she may be doing that. So right. you can't just say, I'm always expecting you to be this, 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 and this, because then you're stagnating that person's growth and that person's ability to become a better mom, a better husband, a better father, whatever the situation might be. Right. It's like you're throwing a monkey wrench in the system because specifically as men, a lot of times we're looked at as, you know, you're the head of household, you have to do this, you have to do this. And then a lot of times it's like, if you are no longer doing these things, you no longer look interested or, you know, um, your oomph switches. And it's like, again, it becomes a domino effect where it just goes down. And it's like, well, you know, of course, we look at it as we got to do this, 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 and this. And a lot I of mean, times, as you just said earlier, you know, a lot of times. See, the best relationships. Up stuff, huh? This be the problem. This be the problem because the best relationships is partnerships. Exactly. And then sometimes, at, like the the whole percentages and all of that shit, like is what really messes people up because they're really just a million bedillion the situation, and you just flat out going with that. And it's like, sometimes I'm gonna be down. Sometimes you're gonna be up, and I'm gonna need you to reach down here and pick me up if I'm down. You're gonna need me to reach down here to pick you up if you're down. But that you can't just say, all right, well, look, man, I already walked over here. My fifty percent. You got to do like <laughs> it can't be like that every day. Now, right. one of them joints I do tell people is every day can't be Tuesday. You can feel right. like that, you know, for a day or two days or three days, but now we can't go on month four where you just still in a rut and you're not doing anything to get out of it. If you're trying right. and actively trying to make this situation better and it's just not working out, man, you're just not working out right now. That's cool. But you got to be giving right. the effort. You can't be, again, back to the title of the episode, lazy. You can't be lazy in this relationship. You can't be lazy in this marriage or lazy in this friendship or whatever the dynamic is because if you're allowing the person to only, if I'm the, always the one reaching and you're never reaching back, then we don't have a relationship. We have a codependency. You're just depending right. on me, whatever it is, or I'm depending on you to be whatever it is that makes it easier for me and that makes it better for us, which is what we're supposed to be when we're building a relationship. Right. And the best thing about that, specifically with uh, the teamwork aspect, is that you don't want to become an anchor. You know what I mean? And that's a part of what I was saying earlier. It's like, damn, you're becoming an anchor. It's like, I feel like I'm a pole in this thing. And the worst thing to do specifically when you're in a relationship, you don't want to feel like you're in a relationship alone, if that makes any sense. A lot of people are. Exactly. <laughs> it's and it's sad. It's sad to say, but there's a lot of people who are really in a relationship alone. And they might not even know that. Or they may know it and they're just settling, which is another story as well. But the biggest thing is to like, when you have your partner look at you and tell you like, man, you you ain't holding your weight. You know, you, you start to feel specifically as a man. You're like, whoa, hold on. You know what I mean? And then, of course, like you said, you got to look back and look at yourself and be like, damn, the what is it that thing, I am doing? See, this be just the way that we be just programmed. The first thing that you hear when somebody gives you some criticism can't be just, what the fuck you mean? Like, no, listen yeah. to it. Take it right. in. See why they saying that to you. Like, <laughs> Try to look at it from a from a not, uh, you making it personal and it ain't personal. Especially if right. the comment is coming from your significant other, or your kid or your parent or whatever. Like, if it ain't a toxic kid parent or whatever the situation is, this is coming from a place of love. It's coming from a place of I don't want to see you do nothing but win. So you can't come into it with an err because that ain't what it called for. That's not what the situation is. This is just me telling you what yeah. I You're going to turn that whole situation up. It's going to be a whirlwind. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Now, we're going to switch it up now because we okay. I told you we rebranded the show. This one right here is sponsored by Custom Hustle. That is at Custom Hustle World, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Let's go, Custom Hustle. Get Custom all these CHs. We at what, number four now? Four. We on the fours. These Let's right talk here. about Hey, hey, red hey black man. Threes. Hey. Yeah. Available in all colors. Okay. They the brands know. right there. I like them. Oh, yeah. What you, you about know. to pull out another pair, bro? <laughs> no, no. We're going to keep it light on them. You know what I'm saying? You go to right. Custom Hustle World, though, and we got all I was about situation. to say, hold on now. 
Don't give yeah, them too we much. We got all of that for you. We got the flip flops, the jerseys, the custom jackets for the kids and the Talk adults. Talk about it. Sweatsuits. Talk about it. Uh, the barber capes. You name it, we got it. Um, and as of you know, 2024, we got a lot of new merchandise coming in, baby. Always, always. I need to have some of that on, on, like next, next. Y'all mean pod? I, I can't hey, keep man. playing around. I gotta have hey, some man. of that ch on, man. I feel naked. Pause. Copy that, or we can get you one of these. You'm saying you one of these original guys. You saying we get you one of those. That's it right there. <laughs> All right, this is this is the get to know segment. This is where we get to know a little bit more about Sa. Okay. So now we we're gonna start you off with a basic one: Chinese or Italian? Say it again. Food. Chinese or Italian? Food. Which one are you going? With? Oh, um, Italian. What are you going with with the Italian? One more time. What are you going with? Italian. What are you going with? You want a lasagna? You want a ziti? What are you Maggiano. going with? Oh, you said where I'm going? Um, No, what are you, what's the dish that you're getting? You're going Italian. Bang. So what are you oh, ordering okay. with I'm Italian? sorry. I, my bad. Um, <laughs> It's either going to be uh, chicken alfredo or uh, baked ziti for sure. Copy that. Now, this is another one we'd like to do. You've been at a Cotter Hustle live show, so you know how this works. 1998. How old was you? What's the first thing that you think of? 1998? Mm-hmm. The first who? What's the first thing that you think of when you hear 1998? Oh, 98. And how old were you? Uh, damn, 98. I mean, I think of Paris Middle School. Um, And I was about... Uh, what do you say? 90... 98. <laughs> I'm telling my age right now. I know. <laughs> Uh-huh. So you said uh, Paris. You yeah. Paris and you were teenagers. You were in Paris, you were like 13. I was probably about like yeah, 13 going on 14. Uh, matter of fact, I graduated in 98. So I definitely was 13. So yeah, I thought about I called it Coneheads. It was class of 98, C-O-N-E. And that's definitely what I thought of. Paris Middle School, which was the most fun time in my life that I can remember. One of them. Copy that. I went to Paris too, 01. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> now, tell me this. Power. What's your favorite power spinoff? I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I ain't I ain't been watching too much. I stopped watching like maybe after the second. We're gonna have to talk about that later, bro. All right, so, now, here we, so we, I really we go. I'm really not too much of a TV person. Like when I can watch TV, I do watch TV, but I'll be like moving around a whole lot. So whenever I get to watch TV, I can. This might sound crazy. The last power I watched was probably season two. All right, so Ghost of Tommy then. Huh? Ghost of Tommy. Ghost. Ghost, okay. Favorite yeah. movie? I got a couple of them. Love and Basketball and Coming to America. You say Love and Basketball and what? Coming to America. Okay, he got a sensitive joint for when he want to cuddle up and then he want to laugh. <laughs> Copy that. Now, last joint. What's your favorite thing about me? Thing about me. What's your favorite thing about me? Oh man, my favorite thing about you. To do we got enough time? You're loyal, bro. <laughs> you're genuine. You're loyal. You're genuine from day one. We sandbox with. It. In case y'all don't know, I will say it again, and I will continuously say it. We sandbox. This man has been always genuine. Can I tell my story real quick? 12-11. I'm 12-11. He 12-12. That's how far we go back. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to tell a story real fast. I know, I'm pretty sure you probably don't remember this, so maybe you do. I remember I came home. I just came home from jail. I did five years. Um, We was on the sub. We was on the sub. Mm -hmm. You was just coming out from one sub to the other. You was about to walk past me. And uh, after you walked past me, I think you noticed me or I noticed you. I can't remember how it went, but I remember we linked real quick. We talked, and without any thought whatsoever, you went right in your pocket, bro. You didn't look at nothing. You went in your pocket. You handed me whatever you had in your pocket, and I'm like, nah, bro, I'm cool. Everything is fine. You know what I mean? I was saving money before I got out. Everything is cool. And he was like, bro, tell that to somebody you ain't grow up with, nigga. <laughs> like, take this. And right there, that alone, like, was, like, one of the biggest gestures and if I can say this, like, even some of my own immediate family members haven't done that for me. And I'm not holding it against nobody. There's no grudge or nothing. But it's just a fact. And it just goes to show what type of person that you are. You feel me? So 
I'm gonna say loyal. I'm gonna say genuine. I'm gonna say uh, rare. I'm gonna say um, fully committed. You're 100 percent a Muslim, brother. <laughs> like, yeah, you know I mean, you know mm -hmm. we believe, and and that there, you embody that and have embodied that since I've known you. So I when mean, I tell, when I tell somebody, when I tell somebody I love you, I really mean it. It's not just words. Absolutely, it's just like. Just like we just talking about like power, Ghost looked at Angela and how many episodes and went, I love you. And then they had the great making love making scene and like they just acting. They just words if you don't have no actions behind them. So if you don't plan on backing up these actions, these words with any action, stop talking to me. <laughs> um, now, before we close this one out, this is how we close out the show from here on out. It is sponsored by H2H Cleaning. That is my cleaning company. We do roofing, plumbing, flooring, HVACs, cleanups, clean outs, power washing, remodeling, you name it, we got it. Um, clean up. Let them know. Ain't, ain't no job too big or too small. Get with them. Not, a, not at all. Um, what do we need to know? You got anything that we need to know? Anything that you want to tell us about? Anything that you want to close the show out with? Shine a spotlight um, on yourself. Well, I just want you to know that <laughs> Solidified is still moving. I mean, you can still come get your shoes clean. Um, that's pretty much it, man. You know, I appreciate you. I'm always going to appreciate you. I love you, bro. You know, again, you too. you've always been solid from day one and whatever you need from me, as long as I can and I will, as long as the law wills, I'm there, bro. That's pretty much it. And I need y'all to know that, like, for the listeners, there has been some listeners that has said they've been tuning in and they really dig the show. They love the podcast drive through. I said this to you off mic. I definitely say this to you on air. Um, And they love it. They dig it. You feel me? So keep doing what you're doing, bro. Like, keep feeding the streets, keep feeding the corporate, keep feeding everybody. Because I feel like everybody's tuned in. You do have something that is different and rare. And it's an epitome of, it's an extension of who you are as a person. So just keep going, bro. And I want everybody to know, like, just, you know, keep tuning in, keep supporting everything from Custom Hustle, H2H Cleaning, whatever dealing with hype, man, tap in. Like, tap in. Because you're always going to get what you're asking for, for sure. This is the one thing I will say is I know what the downloads is and I know what the subscriptions is. So you know what I'm saying that's why we tell you appreciate you hitting the button. You listening, just hit the button. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate it. We appreciate right. the five. We only accept five. We don't accept four. We don't accept three. We don't accept two. Um and one's right. not even a concept. So I appreciate you for coming on, bro. That was episode 126. We are out. I am hype. That's H Y M P E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. Feel it, feel it.